Hello, so here's my beautiful laryngeal structure. We're gonna talk about the thyroid cartilage first, and that's the largest unpaired cartilage in the laryngeal framework, and is the most visible when looking at the front of the neck, and the most palpable as well. It has several parts, two laminae, two superior cornu, two inferior cornu, an oblique line, the superior thyroid notch, which is also known as the Adam's apple, and is most common in males. The cricoid cartilage, you can find right here, is a single cartilage made up of hyaline tissue and forms the base or inferior aspect of the laryngeal framework. It has a broad posterior aspect, as you can see, and a thinner arch anteriorly. It is connected uh, to the thyroid cartilage via the inferior horn and superiorly by the cricothyroid membrane. Both the cricoid cartilage and the thyroid cartilage, they change the vocal fold length, which changes the pitch of the voice. The arytenoid cartilages are right here and they are paired and situated on the superior margin of the cricoid laminae and consist of the hyaline and elastic tissue. They have pyramidal shapes and it has two main processes which are the vocal process and the muscular process. They sit on top of the cricoid cartilage as you can see and the, move, and the movement of the arytenoids allow for abduction and adduction of the vocal folds. The epiglottis, which is located right here, is the superior part of the larynx. It's the posterior to the hyoid bone and base of the tongue, and it deflects to protect the opening of the larynx so uh, when swallowing occurs so that no foreign objects go down um, that tube. So now we're gonna talk about the thyroid arytenoids. The function of those are that they shorten or decrease the length of the vocal folds when it contracts and tenses the vocal folds. They adduct the vocal folds. The posterior cricoarytenoids abduct the vocal folds by moving the muscular process medially together and rotating the vocal process laterally. The lateral cricoarytenoids course upward and backward to insert the muscular process of the arytenoid cartilage. Upon contraction, it adducts the vocal fold by moving the muscular process posterior later, posterior laterally and the vocal process medially. It decreases the length of the vocal folds. The cricothyroid increases the length of the vocal fold and tenses the vocal folds. And lastly, the inner arytenoids. There are two sets of inner arytenoid muscles, the oblique and the transverse, and when contracted, they adduct the vocal folds. All right, thank you.